So it's been a while since I've done any Dungeoneering, I'm still stuck on level 114, but I'm slowly getting towards 120. I've just got too many other goals in my mind at the moment and just too little time, but a viewer did give me a shout and said he had a consistent Yak card. So if you speak to Garajo, the Horde Stalker found in the resource dungeon in Maya Clan District in Prifthanaz, it requires 95 Dungeoneering to enter and you can get one card per day, so you can claim a card from this guy. Yes, you can claim a card from the same guy in Demonheim, but if you claim a card from the guy in the resource dungeon in the Maya Clan District, you have a chance of getting the consistent Yak card. This card, when activated inside a DG floor, will allow every member of the party to see one recipe upon opening a door. You can then go to Maya and Prifthanaz to see what recipe was unlocked. Now, when you open a door with the Team Yak card activated, the recipe will be dropped in the next room, as you can see on the screen. And it is a free-for-all, you could say. So I'm pretty certain if you haven't unlocked all the recipes, then everyone in that team will see that recipe on the floor in the next room. It's important to note you must speak to the Garage or Horde Stalk in Demonheim first, I've heard. Otherwise, the one in the level 95 resource dungeon will be invisible. But let's have a look at Supreme Overloads. Um, I've actually managed to get myself a Supreme Overload solve. I managed to unlock it with a recipe uh, with the consistent Yak card whilst using it this morning. And I was so happy because I still have around uh, four or five recipes still left to unlock. So I was very lucky to get the Supreme Overload solve because I've also heard it's random what recipe is unlocked when you pick it up. So I was really, really happy. Uh, to get this overload. Why? Because it is the best potion in game essentially and I'll tell you why. So it's a six dose combination potion that can be made at level 99 herbal ore after unlocking the recipe which I've done this morning. It's made by combining a supreme overload potion, a prayer renewal potion, prayer potion normal, super anti-fire, anti-fire, and super anti-poison in a crystal flask. So therefore, you're essentially putting some anti-poison in there, a worm fire potion, and you'll get an additional prayer when drinking it. And of course, it also acts as a prayer renewal. So it's, it's like an all-in-one potion. It's absolutely brilliant. And that's why it's just so goddamn good. So perfect uses to use this uh, potion at is the new living wyverns that have been released, the new high level mobs, because you require a worm fire potion there. And to be honest, anti-poison does kind of help a little bit when you first enter there before you start balancing the poison. But either way, the worm fire potion inside this really helps. And of course, the prayer renewal as well means you're only going to have to take supreme solve overload potions plus some extra restores, for example, and replenishment for a adrenaline if you want to get extra adrenaline. It saves you inventory space where it, it does help you in the long run and it's just a bit more of a convenience if anything uh, rather than taking loads of different potions and having to remember lots of different potions and having more on your presets it's just a bit more convenient and of course unlocking recipes is a completionist requirement you have to unlock all of the recipes from this district so I'm going to put out there to uh, you awesome subscribers to claim their daily card so if you've got level 95 Dungeoneering Plus Go to that resource dungeon on a daily basis, try and claim your consistent uh, yak card. If you manage to get it, join my friends chat and we can help each other out, unlock all the recipes over the next two days. So only the next two days only. Um, as the FCs that used to do this have faded away due to the majority of comp capers on release getting their recipes pretty quickly. So those friends chats have faded away. So I'm going to put out there, I'm going to try and regenerate. Um, a friends chat for this purpose but only for the next two days so if you do manage to get yourself a consistent yak card join the fc we can find recipes together we're going to help out a lot of people in the process i'll probably get mine very quickly and i will keep managing the fc over the next two days to help others out so yeah make sure to join and help each other out it should be good and a lot of us should be completing this as a completion requirement so yeah this goes without saying but it is free for all you know whoever opens that door the recipe will drop on the floor but others will see it so just be you know respect each other whoever opens that door take it in turns and then let them collect that recipe thank you guys for watching this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one